The mummy is on the loose and he's dancing with the devil. You know what that means? It's time for another episode of Macabre Cast. Doc Mock and Karis, the little mummy, here to bring you another episode of Macabre Cast where we'll be dropping R's where they belong and adding them where they don't. So the way Macabre Cast works is you send me your opinions, thoughts, and ideas via message through Messenger uh, at Macabre Theater on Facebook. Preferably a voice message. Always makes for a better show. And uh, that's how we we stay uh, interactive. That's how we... uh, do this show together. It is so hard the first week you go back to work after vacation. That was last week. It seemed like it was the longest week ever. But this weekend, I um, I did see something new. I had picked up this um, this DVD in a Dollar General store, probably almost a year ago. It was called the Amityville Murders. And um, trust me when I say I had no great expectations for this because uh, other than the first two Amityville movies ever made, uh, 79, and there was one in the early 80s, The Possession. Other than that, um, they've all basically been garbage. Um, I'm I'm not going to go down this rabbit hole again with franchises that have outlasted their welcome. For argument's sake, Dark, let's just say there are a lot of franchises that have overstayed their welcome. Um, actually, Part 3 wasn't. It was 3D. If you, if you had the chance to see Part 3 in the theater um, many years ago, that that was fun just for the 3D alone, but not a very great movie. Nothing. If I were Tony Roberts, would I want to even put on my resume? But, uh, yeah, he was in that. But anyway... This movie was surprisingly really good. Amityville Murders is about the DeFeo murders uh, that took place in the house. The, the, the real you know, story of any, if anything ever went on in that house, this, is, uh, this actually happened. There were horrific murders there. Um, that the DeFeo son who committed the murders claimed uh, in court that he heard voices that made him do this, but I think it was a... Uh, just a cheesy way to get out of doing what he had done. He was a drug addict and everything else. We, let's not even get into that. This movie was was actually good. I mean, I'm not talking Academy Award good, but definitely a great companion piece. You want a good double feature. If you can find the Amityville murders and then follow it up with the 1979 Amityville horror with uh, Karen Allen, um, Great double feature right there. Excellent. And I got another compliment on my steering wheel cover with all the um, horror icons at the Dunkin' Donuts again from a different person. I think there's a whole bunch of horror fanatics that, that work there, which is pretty cool. But yeah, they they all seem to, to like my steering wheel cover. Last time, Matt sent in a picture of him wearing his horror swag and you didn't put it, you didn't put it on the screen. So I thought I'd put it up for you now. Yes, you are correct. I did stick that picture in the comments section, though, when I um, put the episode up on the on the Macabre Theater page. But you are correct. And uh, Matt rightfully deserves his shining moment and his horror swag, because we get so very few. Please send in your pics with your horror swag, because we're that's still a thing. You know, there's never a topic on here that's too old. You can go back to the first episode and talk about things that we brought up. Um, like I've said, movie movie theater experiences, blah, blah, blah. Movie I should watch that I haven't seen. Actually, uh, a friend of mine, Larry, reached out to me. Uh, he, mess- he personally messaged me and said I needed to check out a movie called Chained. He had actually asked... He was trying to figure out what some movie was um, that he had seen or wanted to see, and and I was able to I, I did figure out the title for him. But he recommended a movie. I believe the movie was called Chained, and I think it was streaming maybe on Prime. That I do have to find time to uh, 
to check that out. I will check that out, Larry. I have a question for Macabre Theater followers. Does anybody else have ice cube trays that are related to horror, or am I the only mental case out there? Until next time, stay on the road, keep clear of the moors, and beware of the moon. But most of all, be good to yourself. This is Dark Mark, signing off. See you soon.